course of the agreement videos, we reference tasks, tools, and parts. Before we can use these items, we'll have to set them up, so let's take a minute to learn how to do that. To create a task, click on the agreement pull-down menu and select Enter Tasks. Click the Add New button and enter a task code and description. Enter the number of minutes it should generally take to complete the task. We can always change this when you apply it to an agreement to accommodate multiple systems or more complex situations. Using the full tasking description, we can enter information that will appear in the dispatch notes when this task is used. At this point, we can also enter any subtasks, parts, and tools you want to associate with this task. Subtasks can be used to break down a large task into smaller pieces. Each subtask must have previously been set up as a task to do this. Now please note that subtasks do not currently show on the mobile clients, so if you are using those or are planning to do so in the near future, use the long tasking description to enter this information instead. As a general rule, leave the Parts tab blank when creating tasks, as these will usually be different for each customer. We can always add the parts in later when assigning the task to the customer's agreement. Click Save when you're finished and the task is ready to use. Tools are created in much the same way. Go to the Agreement pull-down menu and select Enter Tools. Give the tool a name and a brief description. There is no need to enter commonly carried tools, just focus on the tools that the text don't normally stock. Although we used parts in several of the agreement videos, creating them is a bit too involved to describe here, so please see our inventory videos for more details on how to set those up. To complete setting up the system to use service agreements, go to the Company pull-down menu and select System Setup. There are a few things you might want to set up on the Agreement tab. The first is the Auto Update Renewal checkbox. Check this if you will ever create a single invoice for an agreement. Doing so will automatically update the agreement's expiration date when that invoice is paid in ESC. If you bill an agreement more than once a year or on the dispatch, the setting will have no effect and you will still have to update that expiration date manually. Put a check in the next box to put all the agreement invoices on hold. This will prevent agreement invoices from posting to your accounting software or financials until the hold is released. We recommend doing this since the customer may opt to not renew the agreement. This prevents overstating income and makes it easier to delete those invoices if they're not paid. The last thing we should check on this screen is the Allow Invoice Amounts Per Task. Do this if you are using the On Dispatch option on the Agreement Invoicing tab and you need to bill the same customer different amounts on different visits. See the Advanced Agreement Invoicing video for more details on how this works. Feel free to change any other settings on this screen as well. It should be fine by default, but we can customize them if desired, such as selecting a new priority for all agreement dispatches so that they are colored differently on the electronic dispatch board. That's all you need to do to ensure you're ready to create agreements. This concludes our agreement setup video. Thank you very much for watching.